Good evening, everybody. Good evening, my dear guests and listeners. Good evening, everybody who are here for the first time. And uh, I can tell you that you are at the first. Uh, you are exactly where you're supposed to be, because uh, whoever uh, this person is who recommended you to come to this today's webinar uh, did the right thing because we have so much great information to to share with you so we all could take this opportunity and use and use these benefits uh, in order to achieve a, an amazing life ahead of us so yes this is a technology which you can see also behind me this is called skyway technology and um, Skyway technology was created by a man named Dr. Anatoly Yunitsky. He is from Belarus and currently uh, we are developing, uh, the Skyway team is developing both in Belarus and in United Arab Emirates their uh, certification and demonstration centers. So what has happened is that um, mm, uh, uh, that about 2000, not about, but exactly 2015 was the year when they first started to construct the first buildings and the first tracks at all. So about in seven years, we have achieved uh, that we have now a fully working demonstration and certification center in Belarus, which is basically Mm, on a 40 acre land there are more than seven different road structures more than seven different models are already certified by belarus and russian standards so that side covers the we can say that that um, um that it's belarus is like a window to to eastern countries well like uh, um, well, Russia, a very big country, then of course, believe there, there Kazakhstan and, and so on. So all these countries. And then we have another certification and demonstration center already two or three years in working. We have one uh, completed track there and also one already certified tropical unicar. Tropical unicar is basically the same model which is behind me here. It is certified, it's four seated, it's luxurious, it's absolutely amazing. And that the second part, uh, demonstration certification center, as I mentioned in the beginning, is located in United Emirates. So it's uh, nearby Dubai. So it's about uh, half uh, half an hour drive from Dubai. It's it's the next Emirate, which is called Sarja. So that uh, the whole complex there is called Sarja Innovation Center, and then Skyways is a part of that. So it's absolutely fantastic uh, what we have achieved so far and we should have uh, one more track ready within this year or in the beginning of the next year and this well the third one then uh, should be also in in the first half of the next year should should be completed so there will be actually four different track structures at the moment all together in such innovation center and one is completed and the two other ones at the moment are under construction in the last, uh, last part, so to say, of that construction should be finished quite soon. But all right, so this is all introduction at the moment. We will get to the, get to the um, great part as well. Well, this already is a great part, but to the details, I mean. And uh, again, thank you all for coming and uh, I wish my sincere um, greetings to all the listeners via youtube as well who will see this recording afterwards and uh, my name is michael i'm from estonia and i've i've been myself a presenter and uh, and an investor for skyway for for about uh, uh, four and more years already so i have been in this topic and in this uh, in this area of business for, for, for more than four years now. And, and I have learned and studied this very thoroughly, even did when I was in university. A few years ago, I did a research work um, there as well, about 20, 25 pages about Skyway, where I compared them with 
different different uh, different other technologies so yes so i can say it's Skyhoo is absolutely an epic an epic uh, technology and then there are many many great reasons why this uh, technology will rock the world and why this will will be here for hundreds of of years and overall the second level transportation system but yeah so let's uh, see some um, mm, uh, pictures from it's like lagging here sorry so i hope you can see So yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, somehow there was some uh, some connection difficulties here. But I have a lighting network, so why then? Don't know. Anyhow, this is a Skyway, one animation, and you can see how neat it is. It is so um, pure and, and it, it runs fully on electricity, so there is no CO2 level emissions, direct at least. Mm, then we can attach solar panels, wind turbines to the truck structure and to the um, to the different models as well. So we can produce energy while we are well riding or uh, while we are taking a trip, or at least the infrastructure of this technology can produce. This is the goal, at least, to produce the same amount or even more energy than it's needed for 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 well different components to work which use uh, energy electricity as energy but yeah we will take a look now to the <laughs> so i will leave just my voice on at the moment and let's see if this works better but anyhow, let's see now the, the pro progress of uh, these two tracks. One is called track number two, which is in front of you. And the other one is track number four, but uh, we will get there quite soon. So this one, track number two, is made for a container. So basically, there will be a container transportation system, which is meant, by container, I mean the sea containers, which is meant to yes, transport cargo or the goods from one point place to another place and i will tell you more about this in details quite soon but this here is um what, what you saw before i show you again this one is container terminal and this one is also part of the track structure but it's different um, different uh, station and this station is basically meant for maintenance of of uh, our models as well as charging so basically when if we if we take for example some bigger city like tokyo tokyo for example there are these uh, subways when it's rush hour time early in the mornings and in the evenings after work time then a lot of people come together at the stations and want to get on board so whenever we have this time at the day then the extra models can come from this uh, terminal or from this well depot I can say, which you can see in front of you on the slide, which is under construction at the moment, they will be parked there during the time when there is not many, so many people uh, who want to drive, who wants to drive uh, from one place to another. So those models which do not need to serve people, those will come to charge themselves for maintenance and so on. And when it's rush hour again, those uh, all those parked and uh, well models in maintenance and which are charging those will come also to the track structure to serve people with uh, greater efficiency so that's the main uh, main thing here yes and this is how it looks like it's it's absolutely brilliant so just think about it there won't be any more traffic jams with the truck drivers uh, then well the sea sea transportation is both dangerous 
and it's very uh, <laughs> it takes a long time to arrive to certain well um, ports globally if we think if, if one starts from for example from china and wants to go to the another another well another place in the in in, in the world it takes month uh, months many months uh, to arrive there so therefore it, it it takes enormous time but with skyway it's possible to construct basically unlimited uh, unlimited kilometers of uh, road structure road structure and uh, and the average speed is about 120 to 150 kilometers per hour and we can use both sides we can use the upper side and we can use the the side which is down there mm. so simultaneously simultaneously two cargo models can go either direction this is just brilliant and the unloading um time for for the sea containers to the transport and off off, the, off from the transport that is uh, under under one minute so also very fast yes it's just brilliant and then this is the uh, track number four there will be they will demonstrate there the um, more than 100 people on board transportation models at the moment, we have this four-seated, twelve-seated, and sixteen-seated uh, models. Of course, we can integrate them into one big or long uh, model, and that's what uh, they meant uh, mean to do. And therefore, this track structure and those track structures. If the first one in Sasha was or is four hundred meters long, then those two, the track number two and track number four, will be about uh, two and a half kilometers long so yes it's absolutely amazing yeah here you can see how how it's uh taking place it's many many great photos and and as you can see the despite the coronavirus crisis globally now this ukraine russian war uh, cli um, energy crisis in europe and so on all those well of course they affect somehow they affect that for example that if there was each year there there was one day where we all could go to belarus to see the sky with technology and ride with it then the last time was 2019 because of the coronavirus um, uh, the past two or three years they haven't held this event anymore so that's how but otherwise all the work continues investors come on board um, well it's just amazing and yes we all can be investors as i mentioned you before i am an, an investor here in uh, skyway uh, i have supported financially this company gave them basically a loan and the, which the loan which is packed with uh, shares of the main company so wherever in the world skyway tracks will be well installed and they will start serving people and and making profits then those profits certain amount of those profits will be divided between all the investors so that's why it's it's very great to be an investor yourself and you can find all this data available from your back offices so just take a look at there and you can see uh, what are the possibilities but all right let's continue to the main part this is the pre-main part now introduction is over i have uh, yes, secluded this into three parts basically and the second part describes a little bit what we as humankind have already been able to achieve uh, but first let's take a look into the well history about 100 years ago one uh, visioner pictured a future in 100 years so it should be about right now this present time as you can see on the slide and what I like to describe with this uh, picture is that today we have all these perfect first level infrastructures. We have these cars, tramways, trolley buses. Um, now we have these electrical scooters, electrical cars, the electrical bikes, self driving bikes, and all these uh, amazing technologies. But there is one, one, one big, big uh, challenge or big problem with that. Those all are located or are working, are doing what they're supposed to do on the first level, so on the ground floor. 
Of course, in the bigger cities in developed countries, we have also underground transportation systems, the subways. But nevertheless, people move to the cities to live and work there. They will get family. They will, yes, they have children and so on. The children will need cars and so on. So the, the number of people grows inside the big cities and therefore the challenges as well grow because we just cannot tear down new or old ancient buildings to widen the roads, for example, and then so on. So, the, so we, whatever we think and create, if it's still located on the first level on the ground floor, it's just making it more jam. It, it might make it more smoother to use or to go from one place to another, but it's still on the first level and it is like a, challenging all the other techno technologies which are basically yeah, uh, basically all on, on the same 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 level yes so therefore what i see and what um, many believers in uh, of skyway and then the visioners and strategists and now the the head of the countries as well uh, what they see is that the the most reasonable and uh, very logical step is to go to the second level, to go up high, because there we can, well, create absolutely new tracks, new road structures, and so on. We can mm, uh, improve improve the efficiency of transportation. And well, yes, humankind has done it before, as you know, with with normal trains and bridges. Then on the right side, you can see this is the monorail. This is one of the most similar to Skyway by its well, by I don't want to say by looks because Skyway looks much <laughs> nicer and is much uh, well. If if you if you take a look at the uh, monorail on the right side, you can see how massive its construction is. This road is very massive. It makes much noise and take a look at the supports beneath the track structure which which hold the structure structure above the ground those are absolutely enormous and very massive I, i'll show another picture here you can see those as well this is the supports and track structures so basically this is yeah this is monorail it's possible to find it uh, in many places around the world but it's expensive as well it's about 10 times more expensive than skyway and i think i actually have one slide here yes here it is usd it's unitsky string technology versus monorail and you can see already the track length is limited mm, with monorail it's up to 50 kilometers while uh, usd unitsky string transportation skyway can build unlimited track structures so basically the main idea of the creator and, and inventor of this technology is to build and connect this um, Inno, um, this is called like uh, yeah, trans or uh, this this basically is, it's like a network for for hundreds of thousands of kilometers of track structure which is all connected with each other so yes the maximum speed up to 150 kilometers when we think about this uh, in system technology model you see on the slide but we have the high speed model as well which is more than 500 kilometers per hour so it, it it will come very very fast as well then another very important aspect of our technology is that uh, we have self-driving electrical cars on steel wheels so basically we do not have any driver there as it is with uh, well we can say most or, or yeah almost all with all the other transportation technologies we have driver tramways roller buses buses uh, what else there are trains all those have drivers up on board as well but we have this remotely controlled and and all these 360 the degrees cameras interior cameras so we we can get this information well we'll get constant feed of this information to 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 screen the surroundings and so on and if any obstacle comes in in our way it autom automatically sends a signal to the model and it will react as it's supposed to be but uh, so i i, I want to say, just say one more thing so i wouldn't forget it uh, about security the main thing why skyway is much much more uh, safe 
safer than all the other transportation technologies is just a simple fact that it's located on the second level. Some people think, oh, it's located there, it's much crazier, it's, it's so dangerous. But no, it won't fall off anywhere, it's so stiff there. But the thing is, we, we won't collide with any obstacle there. We won't collide with bikes, no cars, trams, trolley buses. We would just fly over them and therefore there are no accidents and that's just great and traffic interval and traffic capacity here i would like to also say a few words because it's really important to understand this one it's because traffic interval 20 to 50 seconds actually we can what it means it means that um, it means when if, if if one model left the station then how long it takes for another model to also leave the station so basically it's 20 to 15 seconds and we we could uh well speed it up to tr about three seconds but <laughs> it's not uh, realistic because we need to calculate or think about the time that takes people to get on board or get off board so it takes some time so therefore 20 to 15 second 50 seconds is the traffic interval comparing with monorail for example five to 20 minutes it's much much more uh, faster the skyway and therefore we can take up to 500,000 passengers per day on a track specific track structure with this model which you can see on the slide at the moment so it's so it's about four times uh, more than with monorail and including all these uh, special attributes we have, the speed, the comfortness, it's electrical, it's, it's, it takes much less energy, for example, and so on. So therefore, it, I cannot see any other company who, who, who is doing at the moment the same thing that we are, at least it's at the same efficiency levels as we are. But yeah. <laughs> here it is one uh, subway as well so this one is from Berlin this is Wuppenthal and um, yeah also supports are after very short distances as you can see there by the riverside but with Skyway our supports for example if we take it up higher it those can those supports can be um, in the range of two kilometers for example but uh, normally inside the cities and it, and it depends of course how how much weight the track structure has to hold if it has to hold c containers then these supports have to be after each uh, each uh, for example 200 and 400 meters yes here it is this is basic this is from china this picture this is basically like an upside uh, down tram or a cl clinging tram because by technology it's it's not much different from tramway it's just upside down and now this cable car here on the right side this is also one of the very well it's very popular in the world i have seen it myself for example in romania in turkey i know let me think uh, in Vietnam on Fukuoka Island as well. So many places I have seen it myself and take a ride as well, but it's very slow. It's about 15, 20 kilometers average speed. And there's one, one big difference from Skyway as well. And that is if you look at the orange wheel there, the engine down right side, uh, so that one spins and therefore the cable moves so these cars on the cable those are basically like sued to the cable they are, are at the same place all the time but the cable itself moves and therefore that's why it's quite dangerous so if anything happens there then uh, and there have been many accidents as well and this, it's possible to see it in almost in every ski resort as well the same technological idea but yes, here it is, Skyway, it has its own uh, pre-stressed um, strings uh, ra inside the rail, rail frame. Then we have our own motor wheels and, and batteries. So, so it's, it's much, much more different.
technology than than I just showed you before. But yeah, that's why I like to say, and I will welcome you to the new age because this is 21st century technology. All the others were about 19th century and even older technologies which have already existed for a long time but haven't gotten or haven't taken in use very widely in some places, of course. But um, not that people would say, whoa, let's take it, let's go, let's build networks with it. So nothing like that because those technologies just are enormous and very expensive to construct. But Skyway is a revolutionary. It's about 10 times cheaper than almost all the other technologies. It is by cost, it's even cheaper than the constructing tramway. And then it has many more attributes, which which just are amazing. Yes. And, uh, and the main question is here, So yeah, I see there were some problems with connection, mine as well. We have lost some some people here, but uh, I hope they will come back. But all right. Hmm. Uh, so why Skyway? It's a very important question. And I have brought you out seven reasons for that. And we will take a look about uh, one or two reasons and we will continue next time with all the other other reasons. First of all, it's innovative. As I mentioned, 21st century technology, it, it's up high. It can be even taken up to 100 meters high. So we can go over to the forest. We can go from, from straight line from one place to another. For example, where there are mountainous areas, we don't have to, well, blow up these mountains to, to build roads through them mm, and then so on. So one minister from India said that at the moment, one road path takes about eight hours to cross or to go from one place to another and then with Skyway we could take it uh, down this time we could take it down to about 30 40 minutes so that's how it makes difference and that's why it's very very needed and yes this is the water uh, motor wheel the derailment system here you can see and here it is it's Beautiful. It's just fabulous. All the greenery, all this grass, bushes, forest, it can grow, continue growing. We do not have to dig up the, the old bath like we do with tra uh, trainways. Uh, then dig about seven meters below to fill it with special fillers. Then we have these big holes, uh, craters um, behind the forest where we will take this uh, material to fill the, well, the seven meters. So we could construct this uh, rails or place the rails on, on the ground. So all this is not necessary. We, we just need to place supports after every few hundred meters or more. Then this uh, const uh, rail construction above high and then we can use both sides of the rail with our models. We can use the upper side and we can use the hanging side as here on this uh, picture. Then this is the uh, string rail overpass. As you can see, there are pre-stressed strings. So basically, these pre-stressed uh, strings work like with bridges. It's it's the same. That's why it, it is so strong. It's in bunches, and then it has put an inside rail 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 head or the rail body, and then it's filled with a special filler to make it smoother, to reduce reduct the noise, and so on. 
yes and here it is echo fest 2019 this is the one day i was talking you that i was telling you before and i myself have had the chance to go there and i even got the chance to ride with uh, with this uni uni car up high about 12 15 meters up high i was so it was brilliant just the view and this it's it's amazing just think about it. you go from one place to another let it be 200 300 kilometers and you're up high you can see all this forest the cities it's just amazing it's brilliant yes so with this point we will continue next time so uh, and and uh, of course i will tell you next time i will tell you about some of the greatest news as well uh, if we have time and i will share you some insights as i did today but with the main part we will continue from point two from ecological point and see where it takes us so we have actually a small six points to cover but all that next time this is michael here speaking to you and the next webinar with me is taking place on 24th of november 6 p.m it's gmt time show so check it out what time it is in your country or check it out in our back offices where all the webinar information will be uploaded so thank you again for coming i i wish everybody everybody a great continuing week and i hope you will you will achieve all the dreams and and goals you have um, well taken uh, taken in front of you to to achieve so all right stay healthy stay strong and goodbye <laughs>